Hey, Satori, I got a wisdom nugget for you. You ready? Yeah. You were, you, uh, you were inspiring me there with the talk about, um, you know, the two different sides coming together and that kind of being like the essence of, of um, you know, like that's kind of like how society always finds the ethical way forward is to have those two sides at the table. Mm-hmm. Well, on that, with that context, it, you reminded me of uh, this guy I watch. I think his name's Anton. I gotta look it up. I, Anton Petrov. I put a link in the um, Discord, but he he did this little bit on how they just did a experiment to show quantum quantum domains, and mm. this is you know definitely above my pay grade here. <laughs> but he's getting into like talking about the, it's the yin and the yang talk, right? And it's like yeah. if you stare at that long enough, you see that there's a third aspect there, right? And it's it's that there's a boundary, and it's just the idea that like even the skin is an organ. It's it's in that that boundary has a purpose, right? Yeah. And I think for some reason I think that that's really important. That's a really important clue to pay attention from nature right now as we're entering these times where everybody's like you know really wanting to put up some kind of wall or or boundary or at least have some kind of check on who is in my space, right? Yeah. Well, it's easy to demonize that. It's easy to say that's wrong and we all should just be, I don't know, singing Kumbaya and kissing together. I don't know. <laughs> but the point is we, we all do have our boundary. And if we all get to the table and talk about what those boundaries are, you start to see the two sides form and you start to see a wall. And the wall is not to keep each other out. It's to filter the, it's to filter the flow of who's coming in and out so that uh, you don't lose diversity. Otherwise, yeah. you just have one big blue or one big yellow. If you if you want the the two sides, you got to have that that wall. But that wall has to be permeable. It has to have gate. It has to have highways. It has to have ways to get through. And it has to have people that manage that. For sure. Just a little insight, man. And and on that note, that's that's what buddies do for you, man. <laughs> when you're in the trenches with people, having these kinds of conversations, you get a little boost of inspiration. Anytime you need, you know, you go, um, I like the words you said, com- confidential or confidence, you know, you, yeah. you you start to build up confidence with a buddy. When when those people aren't there, you can do it with a robot quite a bit. And uh, it's kind of like throwing a baseball at a backstop. It doesn't mean you're any good at playing a game with people. It just means you're really good at throwing a ball now. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, to further this I point. I like that. Yeah. And to further this point about about the buddy system but also to boundaries i think that's part of the first initial stage of like starting off as student or beginner's mind is like you find out like what kind of mix you are of of all these like different fluid roles and where where that's right yeah and then like you seeing like how okay like just what i mean about having like confidence in in eclipsing binary like it's also I, I do this all the time with Curry and everybody always kind of laughs because they see all my video editing and I have all these crazy visuals and I do really cool with my visual editing. But every time there's a real discussion about like, you know, artwork, visual artwork, I go, oh man, you got to tell Curry that or oh man, like Curry's so great at, at doing the visuals, like blah, blah, blah. It's like to to be humbled and to recognize, you know, like his expertise, like no, like the real person you, you want to talk to is Curry. Curry, Curry's the, Curry is the my source code for all of that. Like Curry's the one that I go to. Like you, you need to go to that guy. <laughs> and um, have the, that's part of like the buddy system. But also too, I think when we're talking about like sharing information and going to the project, like the NFT is a uh, mandala is kind of a way to like show how that person with their own you know attention and time and work but also based on you know where they fall on their curiosity of that the crypto economic flower that that shows them like in the sense in the kitchen i was saying it shows like your stripes in a sense like oh i have i can handle this this part of the station because i've done it before or that i've done i've done it in this context that i've worked meaningfully at this dow and and here's kind of like my my credentials without being like a real credential it's like okay like i've done this cool stuff before and and then and that's why like you know oh i could try to jump into this this stream and then like it's it's based on this overall like web of of like you know intellectual slash creative artwork that's like via 
stored roughly in the, the library slash creative uh, commons imaginarium pool. <laughs> At least that's my thinking right now. And I think, you know, because basically when I, I keep on talking about like the, the idea behind the fluid roles and like uh, creative group dynamics, the, the, the different distinctions. But I think that's where we build up cards in like those categories. So like later you can find out too, like, because you may, you may be like more like um, math dominant or systems thinking and you're always thinking, like, how does that creative person always come up with those weird ideas? And um, it's also, too, like, when I, I always have this thing, uh, and I've been telling my friend from, from the Team Human thing, and it goes to that personal itch thing, is, like, I think me and the Team Human guy, like, connected instantly on this part of the problem. Because we've been personally scratching that itch of Robert Anton Wilson for a long time. Even to the extent that, like, I recognize watching him, like, looking at his stuff that he was sharing with me. I'm like, oh, my God, you may like Robert Anton Wilson more than me. Like, oh, God, please. Like, I don't know if that's a wise thing to have someone that knows Robert Anton Wilson more than me. I'm usually the one that always talking about Robert Anton Wilson in, in any group dynamics. So it was funny to see him, like, how far along he's been working his own part of the personal itch of Robert Anton Wilson to the extent that when we instantly started to talk meaningfully on this part of, of the thing the the feedback that I'm getting is like oh great I think this is actually a better working model to do the research <laughs> and I'm like oh my god that's that's exactly like the exchange that I that I want and you know even to the extent that it was kind of funny to find out you know boundaries and, and group dynamics like when I share that part of the stuff in tech, uh, it's not alarming, but it, it was just, I just laugh at myself because, you know, Soul Sisters' response when I was talking about uh, source code in like the poetic sense was, oh, so does that mean we could compile it? Does that mean we could run it like a product? And I'm like, yeah, but that, like in my orders of operations, that's not like the next sequence of like what you ask yourself. That's like step like 12, 13, 27. Uh, the first couple of steps is like, oh, uh, okay, what does this actually mean? The first couple of things that I sent him, he says, okay, I know what you mean by this, but like you use these two phrases and uh, they're pretty like uh, strange. And I think you mean this by it, but it could mean this. And like, can you clarify that with me? And those were the words that I changed like poetically to like signal to more of the group um, how they talk. And so to have someone recognize that instantly is very beneficial for me on that part of the task. But that, that that comes like with time and stuff and like, you know, and like, how do you like get that by kind of being open and, and realizing that? But like, it's like, that's only one that we ever got to like that point because it's like, he's been, you know, probably studying Robert Anton Wilson longer than I have. This is John? Yeah, yeah, John. I've been reading his uh, stuff on because he invited me to his app. Huh? Yeah, yeah. That's what we're going to do, the Imagination uh, Station. And so I'm going to load some of the stuff I've been talking about. But yeah, go on. No, oh, yeah, I've been reading the stuff that's going on there. I feel like an Omega, you know, like I'm reading, I'm captivated by everything that's going on. <laughs> uh, because I haven't gone that down that rabbit hole. I don't fully understand all the language. Yeah, like, trying to make sense of it, but very, very interesting what he's doing with the mind mapping. Really. Definitely, uh, yeah, something to look at. Hey, that language thing keeps coming up, and and that's something I expect to take the forefront more. I don't know if you guys have. Um, every, it seems like everybody's speaking different languages everywhere I go, right? In these yeah. in these crypto communities. So I'm thinking, it's everybody probably has an intuition for. Um, the idea of like of context in how different languages like once you go to a different language the more you learn it the more you might learn how the system it has for context is different than your native language meaning like some of the older languages I think they called them high context languages in general meaning like everything you said had a lot of pretext or context to it yeah. so the words weren't that specific themselves and then you get all the way to like 
English and most English speakers know that there's like a lot of funny areas that exist as soon as you start to translate because people in, in native languages they'll always tell you well there, there's no word for that like you guys don't have a word for that and then I think a lot like for English speakers a lot of times we're looking at it like well we have a particular word for that but that's that's not um, even a word in your culture so I think the idea that that's happening on both sides kind of says that there's a lot of room for that in between uh, whatever you want to call it, buddy role, right? Where it's like the, it's an yeah. interpersonal relationship where I kind of know what you mean because I know that twinkle in your eye or I know that, I know what, I know what you mean when you start to fiddle with your fingers like that mm -hmm. because we've already developed enough context so that this, this area of language that's new, that we're navigating newly, we're making it up as we speak, it's lingo. They always have existed and they yeah. always will exist. And that is actually the, the spot of the arts, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're saying, like that is where that where those people always exist. So naturally, they they're always dealing with that. That's why they usually go to symbols, right? Because you can say all these other things. But if if we could just keep in our mind that whenever we're doing this lingo game, a lot of times with branding it happens or marketing. Whenever we're doing this lingo game, especially in English, uh, you could say source. I have source code. And I'm literally thinking over here that you already have code for this and we should get going on this now, <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. And you might be saying, like, I'm, I'm trying to say in an English lingo sense, uh, many, many eons away from that computer programmer that knows binary, right? Yeah. You're basically saying that source code is, uh, like, um, it also is in a poetic way. It's a, um, like, it's, it's a codified version of what, what you observe, what you're observing right now. That's also source code. So that's like a more yeah. generalized idea of that. And when you get people together, I think what Seb was trying to do there was, I don't know, I don't know what she's doing, but maybe she was trying to fish out like, hey, who do we have at this table when they're saying source code? Are they all, are they all meaning the same thing? You know, you gotta yeah. wonder. Yeah, totally.